Today we're at Arkansas Tech University working with uh, some junior ag education major students. Uh, we wanted to kind of go through the new ag tech training lab and the in-service training that we're going to be doing for the uh, ag teachers throughout the spring and the summer. And they were kind of our guinea pigs today uh, to make sure that we have our ducks in a row when it comes to teaching these teachers uh, how to use the ag tech training lab. The simulators that we have located in the trailer, um, we have a, a medium hydraulic excavator or an excavator and uh, we have a log loader, a fella buncher, and a combine simulator. Uh, <clears throat> the two, the excavator and the log loader and fella buncher, those are full motion simulators. It'll react to whatever they're doing. The chair will move. Uh, where the, the combine simulator, not so much, but it has panoramic screens around you and you really feel like you're in the field. Uh, and they'll do skills, whether it be uh, loading and unloaded from a low boy, loading logs, digging a trench, uh, burying a trench box. And, and so they'll pass those skills or fail those skills. It'll give them a printout at the end of, of where they failed, what they need to improve on, so that hopefully by the end of the week they can pass the majority of them uh, and, and set their, their path to a career uh, real quick. Uh, one of the biggest benefits that we have for the Ag Tech Training Lab is it's going to allow students to, to get their feet wet as far as running heavy equipment either in the ag uh, industry or, or even uh, heavy equipment as far as moving dirt with the uh, medium hydraulic excavator. Um, most of our students, uh, we want them to go to college, but there's a vast majority of them that are going to pick up some kind of trade, uh, some skill. The students will be able to earn a certificate uh, of training that they can take to an employer uh, upon applying for a job. And a lot of times those, those are higher paying jobs when it comes to running equipment. Uh, our rollout plan for this trailer is we're gonna spend the majority of the spring and the summer doing in-service trainings for the ag teachers, uh, getting them familiar with the programs, how to set the classes up, how to put their students into the system. And then a major rollout come August uh, where we'll start leaving this at schools. Um, and the scheduling and, and, and the rollout is going to be strictly on logistics as far as we're going to move from one side of the state to the other uh, rather than moving the trailer all the way across the state for a week. But it'll arrive at the school on Monday. The teachers will get another two to three hours of training uh, and then they'll have that trailer for the week for their students to, to work with and then I'll pick it up on Friday and it'll go to its next location. The one drawback to these simulators that we have right now is the depth perception. It's not quite like actually sitting on that implement, that, that piece of machinery. Uh, and some of the new technology that they're coming out with these is more wraparound screens and even using the uh, Oculus VR goggles uh, so that you're sitting in it and you have a 360 view. Um, hopefully in the future we can add some of these new technologies to the simulators that we already have going uh, and build upon it to make it a, a better quality product. It's, it's great the way that it is now, it's awesome. Uh, it's one of the only ones in the nation as far as uh, an Ag in the Classroom program goes. Um, and, but we want, we want it to be bigger and better always, always growing to the future and, and newer technologies that are available.